before I got off my ladder, this is a two layer system. Now let me show you what happens when you slap another layer on top of another layer. You're having a severe ventilation problem all across this ridge line. We are completely torched here. This is deteriorating and just coming apart at the touch of my hand, just cracking and falling apart. You guys, it's just to give you an idea, the temperature outside today, it's not too bad. 85 degrees, a bit cool. When we point this down to your roofing system, it skyrockets to 144 degrees, guys. This roofing system is baking from the inside out. It's losing its adhesive bond and all of its sealant and all the physical properties of the shingles, and this is what happens in return. Look at this. These are called what's called wind zips. The cross-driven wind is literally picking these shingles up as an entire unity, and this is right over your bedroom. We're, this is going to rip off as an entire hole, completely exposing these nail heads, driving water right into your attic system, costing you guys thousands of dollars in damage. Damages. And with the four kids, what happens is the mold and mildew, we want to get on that immediately. And coming over, you have one and two pipe collars with the same exact thermal cracking and abrasions. We have direct gap. Any kind of cross driven wind or rain or storms is going to drive into this pipe collar, costing you guys thousands of dollars in damages. Which leads me to my biggest problem is right here across this addition, we have low slope. This is actually SBA material, but what we have here following is shingles. Now, I think I got to look further into it. The slope is actually a 0 0.7 0 0.5 anything below three pitch is actually classified as low slope and needs to have low slope material now this is completely a patch up and this is causing all ponding water and if you don't have leaks you've already had leaks for years we have to get on this immediately 